Hello, welcome to the third video of from Tree Mathematics, Chapter 4, Scale Drawing. So if this is the first time you watch this series of videos, I would suggest you to uh, watch the first two videos, which I, I will post the link below, before you look at the summative exercise. So before we start, uh, I, will, I advise you to go to the link I post below, which I uploaded this exercise in the Word file. You can go and download it, print it out, and try to do it first. Spend some time to, and try to spend some time to do it before you watch this video, so that you get the most from this video. So if you are ready, let's start now. Question number one. Which of the followings A, B, C, and D are scale drawings for the object? So we have the object here. So which of these are the scale drawings for this object? In order to identify the scale drawings, you need to make sure that all the sides drawn here are proportional to the object. By proportional, I mean all the sides are drawn based on a certain scale and it must be the same scale for all the sides. So we look at scale drawing number one, A. We have one unit, two, two units here. So it means that one unit here represents two units of the object. So one unit here times two, you get this two. So let's look at the other sides, are they proportional? Two units, when you times two, you get four. Two units times two, you get four. One unit times two, you get two. So all the sides here, okay, here is the same. So all the sides here are proportional, hence A is a scale drawing. We look at B. For this side, it's two units, two units. So the scale is, so the scale is one to one, yeah, because two to two becomes one to one. Hence, if this is three unit, the object is supposed to be three units. But here it has four units. Hence the sides are not proportional. They are not drawn with the same scale. Hence B is not a scale drawing. C, we have four units to two. So it means actually the scale drawing, uh, actually the object is half. The length here is half of this. Here four units, here two units. So two is half of four. Hence, this side, we expect this to be half of this. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 units here. The half of 8 units is 4 units. So here, 4, correct. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units, half is 4. 4 units, half is 2. And here you can see that this is, this is the half of this. Hence, all the sides here are drawn proportionally. And C is a scale drawing. So the last one actually is the hardest to determine because you see the sides here, we have three units, here two, here six, and four. So let me show you in the form of calculations. Now we look at D here. We read the scale, the scale is one, is two, and so one here is for the scale drawing, the N is for the object. So we try to determine the scale. So if they all have the same scale, this is the scale drawings for the object. So we have three units here. Okay, so three is two. How many units here? Two. So for this side, the scale is three is to two. For this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have six units. Here we have one, two, three, four. So six to four. Can we simplify this? Yes, we can by dividing 2. So divide 2, you get 3. Divide 2, you get 4. Divide 2, you get 2. So they are the same. So for these two sides, they are drawn based on the same scale. Means they are proportional. But how about the other sides? Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, we have 6. 6 is 2, 4 here. Which is the same as 3 is to 2. So it's the same again. So meaning that this side is also drawn based on the same scale and this 2, 3, 2, 3 here, same. 
Hence, we can say that uh, for this side as well, you see there are three units here and a two units here. Three units here and a two units here. Now they are so it means that all the sides are drawn based on the same scale. It means all the sides are drawn proportionally from uh, to the object. Hence, D is also a scale drawing for this object. Hence, the answer is A, C, and D. Question number two. A scale drawing is a scale drawing is drawn based on the scale one is to four. Compare the size of the scale drawing and the object. Which one has a bigger size? So this is just a basic question to test your understanding on uh, on reading the scale. So remember, this side here represents the scale drawing, and this value here, this side here, represents the object. And from the and from the part one video, I already told you that whichever whichever side has a bigger value means the corresponding object or the scale drawing is a has a bigger size. So four is bigger than one means the object has a bigger size. The answer is the object. Number three, given the following object and scale drawing, state the scale used in the form one is to n. So now we have two drawings here, two diagrams. Which one is the object? Which one is the scale drawings? So from the label here, you can see a and a prime. So usually we use a prime for image or scale drawings. So it means that this is an object. This is the scale drawings. So to state the scale, uh, to state the scale for this, we always refer back to the formula scale equals to measurement of the scale drawing over measurement of the object. So we can take any one side here, which is easy for us. So for this side, the measurement of the scale drawing for this scale drawing here, we have four units, one, two, three, four, four units. So the corresponding side for this, the measurement of object is this, which is two, two units. So four divided by two. Four, here is four, over, this is two, four over two. So the scale is four over two, but we want to state the scale in a ratio form. So first we simplify this, divide 2, divide 2, you get 2 over 1. You write this in the ratio form, and we want this to be 1. Since this is 1, so we need to divide this with 2. When we divide this side with 2, this side we also divide with the same number. So you get this, 2 divide 2, you get 1. So 1, is two, 1 over 2 is the scale for the diagram. Look at question B. Again, this is the object. This is the scale drawing. We refer to the scale, uh, the formula again. Measurement of the scale drawing. We'll take this lah. You know, this is two, one, and two, two units. So here is two. Measurement of object for the corresponding side is three, three units here. So two over three. So the scale is two over three. But we want to write this in the ratio form, and we want this to be one. So divide by two, divide by two, you get one is to three over two. Now, what is different here is the grid size. The grid here is 1 times 1 centimeter. For the grid size here is 2, two centimeter times 2 centimeter. So again, this is still the scale drawing. This is the object. We use the formula. But the measurement of the scale drawing this time, we really need to measure the, the length, not just the number of units. Okay, for this, we take this side here. Okay, so two centimeters. So it's two centimeter plus two centimeter plus two plus two. We have eight. So here is eight. For the object, this side, one plus one plus one plus one. So it's four centimeter. So it's eight centimeter over four centimeter. So scale is eight centimeter over four centimeter. Simplify this. You get divide by four. Divide by four. You get two over one. Write this in ratio form. And then we want to write this as 1 is to n, so divide by 2, divide by 2, you get 1 is to 1 over 2. Now, question number 4. Which of the following scales will produce the smallest scale drawing of a given object? So you are given the first A, B, and C. We have three different scales. If we use these uh, three different scales to draw the scale drawing for a same object, 
which one will have the smallest size the scale drawing okay so in order to compare scales you need to make sure that they all have the same unit first well, question a one centimeter is to two centimeter we simplify it actually it's just the same one is to two now the question is the second one they have the different unit so we make sure they have the same unit first means the meter here we change it we convert it to centimeters 0 0.1 meter is 10 centimeters and simplify this you get 1 is to 10 now the last one is 1 is to 1 over 4 centimeter which is basically still 1 is, is to 1 over 4 and now maybe if this is the first time for you to compare it might be a little bit confusing so we take one example okay let's say we have an object a square which is 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter if we use this three scale and produce three uh, scale drawings you can compare which one has the smallest okay we try so the first one here if we use this scale to draw this object the scale drawing will be like this the side will be 5 cm because one unit here, one unit of the scale drawing represents two unit of the object. One represents two, two represents four, three, six, four, eight, five, ten. So it means the scale drawing is actually half the size of this. Or in other words, the object is two times bigger. Remember this 2 here means the object is bigger than the scale drawing. How much bigger? 2 means this is 2 times bigger than this. Then how about the second one? 1 cm here represents 10. 1 unit here represents 10. 1 cm represents 10 cm. So it means that our drawings will be as small as 1 because 1 cm represents 10. And finally for this, I think you can guess, you see, when this value becomes bigger, the size of the scale drawing becomes smaller. So how about when this is small, the size will be very big. Yeah, it will be very big. So actually it means that one unit represents one over four. Two units represents two over four. Three units represents three over four. 4 units or 4 cm represents 1 cm. So 40 represents 10. Okay, so we come back to the question. It says, it asks, which one has the smallest size? So for, of course, this has the smallest size. So the answer is B. 1 is to 10. So again, the conclusion here is, the bigger the value of this size smaller the scale drawing compared to the object. Now given a scale drawing drawn with a scale of 5 is to 3, state the scale in the form 1 is to n. Then state whether the scale drawing is bigger or smaller than the object. Okay, so the first part, we try to settle the first part here. So 5 is to 3, we simplify it and then we write this in the form of 1 is to n means this need to divide by 5. Divide by 5, divide by 5 for both sides. You get 1 is to 3 over 5. Now, remember 1 here represents the scale drawing. This represents the object. So which one has a bigger value? 1 is bigger than this. So it means the, the scale drawing has a bigger size compared to the object. Hence, the answer is scale drawing is bigger. Number 6. Ali plans to cycle a distance of 2 kilometers from his house to the beach. So his house from the beach is 2 kilometers. The distance shows 5 cm on the map. So if we draw this on the map, it will only be 5 cm long. Determine the scale of the map in the form 1 is to n. So we always refer to the formula of the scale, where scale equals to the measurement of scale drawing over measurement of the object. So here, the scale drawing is the map. So the distance shows 5 cm on the map means here we have 5 cm. However, the measurement of the object means the actual length or the actual distance. 
which is the actual distance of two kilometers so here is two kilometers so it is five centimeter over two kilometers if we want to try to determine the scale and since they have the different units we need to convert one of them so here we try to convert the kilometers to centimeter one centimeter one kilometer is 100,000 centimeter so two kilometer will be 200,000 centimeter and we simplify this we get one is to one over 40,000 and since we need to write in this ratio form it will be one is to 40,000 that is the answer number seven the scale drawing of a pencil is 21 centimeter is the scale used for the scale drawing is one is to one over three find the length of the pencil again we use the formula here now we the scale given is this so we just replace this we substitute this into this part the right hand the left hand side and for this part the measurement of the scale drawing which is the scale drawing here is 21 21 so the measurement object object is the length of the pencil we rewrite all this this okay so since the scale here is given in the ratio form we rewrite this in the fraction form one over one over three which is this one is two one over three and for this side again i already told you that this is 21 centimeter this is the length of the pencil so when you have this when this happens we want to find the length we use the cross multiply so we just cross multiply it length multiply this 1 over 3 multiply this 21 so you get 1 times length equals to 1 over 3 times 21 here 1 times length equals to the length itself and 1 over 3 times 21 centimeter is 7 centimeter means the actual length of the pencil here is 7 centimeters last question the distance between two places, Kuching and Miri, is 750 kilometers. If we were to draw a map with the scale of one centimeter is to five uh, million, five million centimeters, what is the length between Kuching and Miri on the map? So this time you are given the actual distance and you need to find the length on the map and of course we use this formula the scale here we replace with this in the ratio form in the fraction form and for this case measurement of this 750 kilometers is the measurement of the object because this represents the actual distance which is the actual the object here and the length between Kuching and Miri on the map means the measurement of the scale drawing okay so now what the scale here is one centimeter is to five, five million so one over five million land on the map measurement of scale drawing and the measurement of object is the 750 kilometers so in order to solve this we can use a cross multiply but in this case because since we are looking for this we only have to move this to the other side so this you don't have to multiply with this okay so since here is division when we move this it becomes multiplication so we move this here it becomes this so we flip both sides the left hand side and the right hand side get this it's still the same thing and i try to um, calculate this so when you calculate this you key in the calculator you actually get this which is in the standard form and uh, you can actually leave this as your final answer but if the question asks for the final answer in centimeter in the unit of centimeter not kilometers you need to convert this so one kilometer is 100,000 centimeter so one kilometer here is actually 100,000 centimeter so you multiply this you get 15 centimeter means 750 kilometers from Kuching to Miri on the map of this scale is just 15 centimeters so, so this is the first summative exercise for chapter 4 and hope to see you in the second exercise that's all thank you